and that's where the quantum physics aspect came in. So this as a model is absolutely powerful, it is fantastic, and when you look at NLP on the internet, when you Google it, what you will see a lot of times is NLP is the study of human excellence. That's one of those taglines that we use in NLP, it's the study of human excellence. And it is wonderful, I started learning it in 1994, it's changed my life, it is absolutely amazing as a technology and what it does for people. So I highly recommend it, definitely check it out, hundreds of books written on the subject, it is a fascinating modality. Until the fateful day, you know how it is when something happens, we have no clue that that's what just happened, when one of my friends said, hey, let's have lunch at one of those Italian places down by Cottonwood Mall or Fashion Place Mall, and then she gives me that book. You gotta read this. And what is the book, of course, about? The Law of Attraction. So that was about 10 years ago when I first heard that word. What's the law of attraction? Does it have anything with sex? It's about, you know, <laughs> no, that, in, in Mexico they told me not to say that because it's all sexual. I'm like, okay. <laughs> 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 the, the law of attraction, you know. So no, nothing with that. It is all about how can I increase my vibe, my energetic vibration to attract the kind of things they want. And they actually had it in a very business oriented sense. How can I attract the perfect client by of course raising my own vibration to match the kind of vibration I would like to attract in the client and then they will come to me. So that was my first exposure to the law of attraction. Like, Ooh, that's interesting. And this lady did a few workshops. I attended a couple of them and then of course the fateful day of what the bleep do we know. So if you have never seen that movie please give yourself that gift. It is so wonderful. It puts quantum physics in a totally digestible frame where you can really make sense out of it. They tell great stories. They have fantastic physicists from all over the world who are high credibility and they give you a great introduction to how does the law of attraction with quantum physics relate with personal growth and happiness in our lives. So once I got introduced to that, I'm like, whoa, hello, this is so NLP. Oh my goodness, this is so perfect. And what I love about NLP NLP is all about how to. It gives you the skills, it gives you the strategies. You're like hearing, oh gosh, why don't you just think more positive about this issue? Well, how do you do it? Most people are not in that mode where they just click on the switch and say, oh gee, I'm just gonna change my bad mood into hopefulness, right? Most people struggle and then they go into this limbo of like, okay, I'm gonna tell myself I can do this. Yeah, but then there's this little voice that says, but you can't. And NLP, has very specific skills that teach you how to speak to those voices. How can you negotiate with yourself? How can you get yourself out of those crazy discussions that go on in your head? How can you get yourself out of a loop and that kind of stuff? So that's what NLP is so famous for. And then imagining using the quantum approach by adding the principles of the law of attraction supported by the technology of quantum physics I get goosebumps because all of a sudden my whole universe went chink. It, it just multiplied, it went quantum. I'm like, oh my goodness, the possibilities of what we can achieve here by using the quantum physics principles, which move us beyond. Remember when I said the old Newtonian ways, like, oh well, it all happens out here. Yes, I can have choice about how I will react and interact with it. Well, guess what? When you really adopt the quantum physics principles of the oneness, the unified field theory, the observer principle, entanglement, connectivity, all those buzzwords that you now see on Facebook and Google, when you really start putting that stuff into a practical application, here's my statement that I'm claiming as a quantum NLP representative. Not only do you have choice about how you react to reality, you actually proactively co-create your reality. And that's what we claim in quantum NLP. And that's the difference between traditional NLP and what we're teaching. The people who come to my classes, and that's where I hold you guys at a very high level of accountability that you're even attracted to showing up here tonight, that you want to function at a very, very high level of consciousness that leaves no space for victimhood. It happens to me. There's nothing I can do about itness or any of that stuff. And I know we've all lived there to a certain extent or another, and trust me, I'm the queen of it happens to me before I got into NLP and started claiming my power. And then when I got into quantum NLP, I'm really claiming my power. So what we're now saying nowadays is 
NLP, the study of excellence, human excellence, personal excellence. Quantum NLP is the study of possibility. <coughs> and that's why our billboard says making the impossible possible.